These guys are all out of order. They're okay if I leave them there. Yeah, I think that is what I'll do. I'll group up in the plant in the uh, Well, actually, let's see. How many guys are here? They're hurts. They're probably not going to pose that much of a problem. Let's see. So these guys. Those guys. That's going to want to get I think I should actually attack with them. Yeah, so I'll go after go first, actually. Alright, here comes the, the big-ass battle. Yet another big-ass battle with the Marathas. Hopefully it will turn out to be a victory and not a defeat. Like some of the other battles that I do not like to mention. They're more like uh, logistical failures more than anything, really. Or I simply forgot to build a unit or something like that. Very simple matter. Let's hope the uh, other army comes. It'd be kind of nice. Ah, uh, that's good. They're coming, coming from behind them. I like that. Rather, their army is their extra army is coming up behind them, and my extra army is coming to the side of these guys. So. Actually, in a rather good position. Wow, they're really starting. <laughs> they're really trying to charge me this time. Damn! Look at that. They're trying to faint the attack or something. doing. <laughs> wow, they really are trying to charge me. Damn, look at that, they're already in range. I like that, it sort of incorporates both uh, types of attacks, actually, they try to incorporate both volleys and uh, the uh, platoon fire. this extra army. I've set up such a great defense here. Uh, I think I'll move my cannons up to about, uh, let's see, right over that ridge, I think. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good place to set up right there. guys aren't even attacking, like these guys. I guess I'll have to go have them charge just like these guys. Alright, I think that's enough. I'm going to charge the middle of this line. I 
that's enough volleys for one day. As for these guys, let's see how they're doing. We're gonna need to keep pounding each other, so I'll just let them go. These guys strengthen my side defense. Wow, they're already starting to round. It's pretty amazing. I mean, I just charged them with singular units, but they seem to be rounding pretty fast here. They're going to mark your troops. Seem to be winning that fight there. Because I have fewer men, they're not as big of a target. Yeah, I don't think I even need the extra army, frankly. I mean, I, I think it's going to get... Yeah, I mean, look at that. I've already routed his main line. Yeah, I don't even need that extra unit. I mean, that extra army. I don't even need the reinforcements. Uh -oh. oh, shoot. Here come his elephants. I'm going to get into a battle line pretty soon. Oh, shoot. Get, get back. Those elephants don't charge, that'd be bad. Really bad. <laughs> okay, now fire on those blasted elephants. Give me some pipe for me. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad show. Okay. No, I... It's super effective. <laughs> it actually really is. <laughs> yeah, for some reason they just get an extreme defensive bonus whenever you do the square formation. I don't know why. I mean, they just do, even though there's only a couple of guys by like a million guys, they just get an, an extreme defensive bonus. I have no idea how. Is why his elephants are staying right next to the cannons. I mean, wouldn't that be a good way to get them killed? Oh. Has he really been just going after my right side of my troops? What a strange tactic. Well, alright, I'm gonna charge. Because I'm just sick of standing here. And I'll, and I'll have them go into squares and everything, so. That's how good it's working. Oh, 
Oh shoot. Where are they? Oh, damn, I lost them. There's too many of them, I can't. There's too few of them, I can't deploy them in the square. Damn. So close. Alright, let's just move on. We got the cannons. And you know what? Forget the elephants too. Let's just charge. Actually, I gotta just shoot the elephants. Huh? isn't because they're elephants, you know? But, I don't know, I'm not sure. Right. Not that big, though. They're not nearly as ginormous as one of the elephants are. I'm totally worried. I'm not so sure. Oh good, they're actually coming back. I guess I can have them go back and fight the guys now. <laughs> I'm riding these elephants. And I'm not really doing anything to them other than trying to shoot them. Well, I'm gonna charge his elephants now, so... <laughs> I think I got plenty of my guys. Charging a few elephants isn't gonna do too much, so... Yeah, looks like that unit's just gonna go around forever, pretty much. Yeah, let's see how this charge goes against his elephants. I routed his elephants. That's amazing. It really is amazing. I mean, you think that they would they wouldn't rally. I don't know, there's quite a few guys, you know. <laughs> I mean there's like about six hundred guys in that entire thing that I just ordered to attack them, so I don't know. I can sort of see why they'd be kinda of frightened. And there goes that unit. Alright, so what does he have left? Got rid of his cavalry. Got rid of his infantry. Oh, good, that unit came back. I just thought, I guess I'll just have them for them if I want to. Oh, he's trying to kill my cannons, eh? I don't have that. I'll move my cannons up here and engage his cannons. Alright, come on, guys, keep going. I'm just gonna have him charge over the wall. I think that's the best way, actually. Well, actually, I think I got a better place to set these cannons up. I think I'll put them right here. There we go. So as soon as these guys get Look at that, they're tired from crouching in that position. They should be pretty easy to wipe out. Well, I think that's enough. Okay, they've all joined. 
it up, so now I'm just gonna order a frontal charge now. Rawr. Let's see if they shoot or anything. <laughs> wow. Right through the center line. I like it. Great charge, everybody. Great charge. And of course, they're not even going to kill them all easily. Well, they are going to kill them all Whoa! He's flying there. I'm pretty sure I saw a guy flying or something. guys are in range now, so I'm going to deploy. Yeah, they're in range. They're able to hit them without balancing them. The uh, cannon fire. Oddly enough, they're actually too stupid to switch to round shots, so they're hitting the hill with their shrapnel. What fools. Whereas I'm actually able to shoot at them. Yep, there they go. Okay, now I can have my infantry come from the side of their cannons. Whoa! What the heck is that? <laughs> They're in canister shot range. Okay, I'll kill off the, ca the cannon guys with canister shot. Okay, that's not working so well, actually. I think I'll use the uh, regular shot. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa, much more effective. Wow. Just one shot, and they're like, whoa, we're out of here. <laughs> Can't really blame them, considering that they're pretty inept in everything that they do right now. I mean, not a single one of my units is even routed. I mean, they routed during the battle, but they quickly came back because they realized, hey, wait a minute, we're not really routing from anything, because they've already taken care of the guys that were chasing us off. <laughs> yep, there they go. Yep, it's another battle won. Excellent. Yeah, another costly battle, but still I was able to, uh, completely drive off their armies and uh, not actually lose a single unit, so... It's pretty good. Here we go, four of my armies now completely go after them. Okay. They're pretty battered, so I should be able to kill them pretty easily. Yeah, let's take a look at the new world. I'm not sure if this is going to revolt or not, but either way, guys, cross your fingers and hope. Let's hope that it doesn't. Order. Meanwhile, I think I'll go over and take this final territory. Oh, they can march the entire way. Let's save here. See if I can take it without a without doing fighting myself. There we go. Alright, good. That's another minor nation destroyed. Excellent. It's actually quite a bit of good gold, actually. Yeah, if I were to do that, then perfectly fine. Okay. I'll leave my guys in there. Mexican fleet. I don't know what they're doing. So, just got the Mayan rebels and then Mexico. 
and then uh, move these guys up, take over Guiana, and that's it. Okay. I can work with that. Uh, that's right, they just got the basic dudes here. Can't really build any full-fledged units. As for this thing, it does seem to actually have some decent... Hmm. Well, I can only build colonial line infantry, but I suppose that's alright. How do they even compare to a regular European line infantry? Let's see. 70, 40... 6, 9, 13, 7... Six, nine, thirteen, seven, nine, wind and, and these guys are... Oh, well, they don't have a bonus that the other guys do. 7, 40, 25, 15. 7, 40, 25, 15. Resistance to morale shocks, I see. So the colonial guys don't have that. That's actually quite a weakness. That's not much of an army. Right, get out of here, you guys. We don't want your kind here. I really don't, because, you know, if, it, uh, if another rebel army takes over, then I'll have to uh, get rid of them again and again and again. Even more so. So, yet again, I'm grinding to a halt, sort of, with taking new territories and having to fortify in preparation for the, re for the rebellions destined to come. So I'll move around here and up over here, okay. That'll get me onto Calcutta, hopefully. If not, Cuttick. These guys will move up and take Goa. I'll try to take Bajapur as well as higher Hyber, but bad or something. Don't know how to say that exactly, but either way, it's a cool name, just the same. Alright, let's see how many guys are over here. I could probably just take it with this. Actually, I think this will be just a scouting mission, actually. Not too much over there. Can't see Hyber bad. So. Whoa, man, there's a lot of guys over there in the militia. Man, look at that, like about 10 militia units. Crazy. So I guess I will need to uh, fortify my men before I go after uh, Bajapur, probably. Unless this is the main army. This sort of did look like that, that way since they moved them down, and nothing's over here either. Well, I could just I could just train a militia. Well, I will take these guys and these guys. I think that should be enough. Maybe one infantry division. Actually, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now... Now I've split off India, so... It doesn't really have that much of an effect, but it does sort of help because the trading doesn't doesn't work in between the different towns, so... So, uh... So he's got only four ter five territories left because he has go, of course. Alright. So, these are my main targets. Bajapur... Calcutta, or Sitara, rather. That's funny. Mumbai isn't on this map. I wonder why. Let's see what I have to do. Oh, Army Staff College. I forgot to start building that. Okay. The good thing about the Army Staff College is... I can not only get percussion cap, a very cool invention that that reduces uh, misfires and stuff like that, but uh, <laughs> I get machined rifling, and with that, riflemen. Look 
about range. It's almost twice the amount of range that a line infantryman guy has. I'll hope that as soon as I conquer India, I'll be able to build riflemen, and then, and then for the conquest of North America, I'll just build uh, new, new and improved uh, infantry uh, forces where I'll just have riflemen as my main infantry. Actually, let me see how many guys are actually in the in a regular rifleman division. Just 80. Okay, just like right, just like uh, grenadiers. But they got quite a few more, uh, quite a lot more firepower than regular line infantry because they can attack from a lot longer ways away. So they can probably get two volleys off before the guys even get in range. So it's always good. Yep, Indians starting to look very, very Swedish blue right now. So. I want to be very close to actually seeing the end of the Marotha Confederacy. What could the Mexicans be doing with their fleet over there? Oh, the English are rebelling again. Be cunning to be us. And a failed rebellion at that. Actually, that should be all right for next turn, so. There's nothing in there. It's exactly as I thought. Okay, so I'll wait a turn in taking that. But as for this... Or this... No, I'm not so sure what to do, actually. I think they would. I figure they would for that too. Okay, so uh, with this new amount of uh, goal that I've got, let's see if I can. Ah, an army staff college in Caracas. Let's see if I can build one closer. No, there's no regular things over there. Okay. Alright. I'll build my army staff college in Caracas, and, uh... Oh. Don't even have something like that in, uh... Oh, I don't even have the army board there. Okay, that's alright. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just leave it how everything is in Europe. Europe's not that useful right now, actually. I mean, it's more just a money, money thing than anything, really. Wow, they're almost completely done revolting, actually. That should be their last revolt. Let's see if I can take pro some of these provinces off of, uh... Tax it off of no taxes actually. Yeah, that should work. Oh, I think I have to leave those guys on there actually. But since I have so many guys in Madrid, I don't think I'll have to worry about that, so. Eh, I don't care. I'll just leave it how it is. 13,000 is enough for me. the important stuff built first. Oh, that's sort of important too. Yeah, it'll take a while, but... That's three. That's two. Okay, yeah, it should, should actually end by next turn. That should end too, hopefully.
Alright, let's see if I can move my huge army out of Hindustan. You got an order? And I guess I can. Okay. Where do I want to put this? I'm probably going to end up disbanding this thing because it's more of just a conquering army than a holding army, so... As soon as I get the rifleman, though, I'm going to completely modernize my army and make it so that I have a... Because by then, I'll probably have percussion shells, too, so... So I'll have a... So let's see, for my new... For, an, for the new model of my army, I'll have a... Four of the most advanced cavalry unit that I have. Um, three 24-pounder cannon and three 24-pounder howitzer. And then I'll have ten rifleman divisions. That's what I'll do. This should work. They're pretty effective against uh, pretty much anything, so... Should be a good force to use. I'll actually have these guys attack Calcutta. I'm not so sh I'm not so sure that these guys are enough. Uh, that the guys coming down here are enough to actually attack uh, Calcutta. Move over here. Make sure they don't see me. That we don't flood me with millions of ships. Okay, now you guys can actually go after Calcutta or uh, Bengal. I don't I don't know. Whatever. Whatever it takes to get there. Anything. Everything or nothing. Hmm. Yeah, so next turn I'll have those guys done. As for the new world. That's right, I am building that. Okay, seven turns for that. It's the most advanced cavalry unit I can create from that. Heavy cavalry. Okay. I'm pretty content with that, frankly. Those guys are pretty good. <laughs> I like how they don't have shirts. They just have the, uh, the coats that the line infantry guys wear. It's interesting. Okay, um... Yeah, I don't really have anything to do here, so... Alright, I'll just end it now. Oh, they decide... Oh, I guess I decide to attack them. We got improved... Things. Okay, I'll just leave let come out if they want to. All right, I guess they're not. Maybe they're just delaying it so they can think about what to do. that useful of an army. I think I'll remove this army, actually. That should, uh, get rid of a lot of the gold-eating armies out there. Okay, now I can attack them. 
There we go, his main force is eliminated. Now I should be able to do everything that I want to, pretty much. There's quite a few guys there, I have to admit. Manner, oh, take this for it. Lot I'll move these guys back. Yeah, I'll move these guys back. Have them secure the other four down here. Yeah, that works better. These guys are gonna have to take a long time to. Well, actually. At the same time. There we go. Now it just leaves uh, Kudak and uh, Calcutta. Most excellent. One more turn till I take Kudak. How many turns until I take Calcutta? One more turn, alright. I may actually be able to eliminate the Mughals next turn. I, I mean the Marathas next turn. Three unit regions captured in one turn. That's pretty amazing. These three. Perfect. I don't even need anything in there. Awesome. Oh, actually I do. Well, I'll just, I'll just have them uh, go over here and I'll have these guys uh, replenish this, uh, replenish that, and yeah, replenish that too. Okay, that's just one there. Let these guys get replenished just for the hell of it. Probably don't even need them to get replenished, frankly, because Probably aren't going to be any rebellions, and as soon as I get my new model army up running, then I'll be able to uh, conquer all of North America without any problems. That's right, I should get this gunnery school up too, since this is going to be basically my base to build up everything. for these guys. Alright, there we go. That should be good. Put a militia unit here just, just to make sure. That's enough for that. Alright, I think I'll go over and take these uh, rebel provinces now over by Guiana, in uh, Guiana. Just uh, clean up South America. Then I'll move over here and take Guatemala with this force. And then uh, maybe if it's powerful enough, I'll take over Mexico too. And then Florida and Louisiana. And by then I should be poised to actually uh, make all my all my uh, riflemen armies then. Marathas are running around like chickens with their heads cut off. They don't know what to do. They're so close to death right now. They're just they're just trying to blockade all my ports, trying to get me to keep from invading. But I completely went by their fo their fleet, so they've had no chance at even def defeating that my uh, armada right there. So yeah, they got no chance. I mean, look at that that one force there trying to move by, and I just utterly destroyed it with well, that defensive army practically. Those guys won't even face me, they're so scared of my force there. It's so so ridiculously powerful compared to theirs. Oh by Japura saw all the three territories that I just captured. Okay. Right. Excellent, nothing. I lost one unit. <laughs> Amazing. One cannon guy. 
Alright, here's the last province of the Marathas. Boom. Yes! Hoorah! Oh man, that calls for some celebration. Alright, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna celebrate now that I've conquered all of India.